Good morning and Namaste. We have seen that electricity is the flow of current and in order to flow the current a potential difference is needed that we have seen. And in order to flow the current we need a path. Right? That path is called circuit. So how can we define circuit? Circuit is the path along which the current flows. This circuit consists of three parts. One is supplying the current. One component. The circuit can be mainly divided into three components and there one is supplying power. Or potential difference. Supplying power. That is a cell or battery. Okay. Then another one is if 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 there is a supply, somebody is there to receive it. No, that is consumers. Consumers means either bulb, TV, bat, um, um, then PC, etc. TV, etc. AC. So many appliances we are connecting with the circuit. That they are called consumers. And in order to connect these two suppliers and consumers, we need some connecting wires. So these are the main three components come under the circuit. We have seen in the previous video the uh, symbols used for drawing the circuit. We cannot draw the thing as a whole. So we may use some symbols in order to represent them. And that we have discussed in my previous video. Please go through that for getting the symbols. So circuit is a closed path. Suppose I want to light a bulb. This is one. Battery, oh sorry, cell, and I connect it to a key, and then a bulb here. Okay, this is one circuit consisting of a bulb and a cell. This key acts as a switch. This position is known as open position in which the bulb will not glow. That is off position. The circuit is broken here. And if I insert a plug here by putting a, that can be represented by a dot here. This indicates that the switch is on. Key is closed by a plug. That means the circuit is completed. If the circuit is completed only, the current flows through the circuit. If any break is there, no more flow of current is there. That is a broken circuit. Here it is a complete circuit. And that is the on position. The switch can also be represented in this way with a like this. This is the open position, off position. 
and when it is come in touch with here the circuit is closed the circuit is on this is the on and off position of circuit and if we know the circuit we have to understand the law connecting potential difference and current what is potential difference it is the amount of work done in carrying a unit positive charge from one point to the other that we know current means the rate of flow of charges when the potential difference of v volt is there when the current is flowing i according to the ohms law v is proportional to i actually ohms law states that under constant temperature the current flowing to a conductor is directly proportional to potential difference ohms law shows the relation connecting potential difference and current ohms law states that under constant temperature the potential difference or the current through the conductor is directly proportional to potential difference i is proportional to v is the same as v is proportional to i in both way we can write i is proportional to v is the same as v is proportional to i or v by i we say constant called r this r is called the resistance of the conductor this r is the resistance of the conductor here this relationship indicates that when the voltage is doubled the current through the conductor also doubled when current is half the voltage also will be half that is the relation connecting v and f but we know v by i is equal to r or v by r is equal to i that is the relation connecting v i and r this law is very very important ohms law and also the problem related to this also equally important suppose we are drawing a graph connecting v and i suppose this is v and this is i this is what is called vi graph and when we draw a vi graph we get a straight line why it is so as v increases i also increases so you will get a straight line graph and suppose i want to find the resistance at this point resistance at this point can be determined by the slope of the line this is v by i right this value will give you the value of v and this will give you the value of i and this v by i will give you uh, this is the slope of the line this indicates the slope and the slope of the line will give you the resistance and from the graph you can find the resistance of a conductor 
how this own slow can be verified. That is, a back cell is needed, a T is needed, a variable resistance is needed. Variable resistance and the known resistance wire should be there. This is a fixed resistance and this is a variable resistance or rheostat. And the current is flowing through this circuit. So in order to measure the current, we need an ammeter. Ammeter is used to measure the current. Okay. The ammeter is always connected in series with the circuit. This circuit is called the primary circuit. And in the other circuit, uh, uh, we connect a parallel device we connect here which is used to measure the potential difference across the ends of the conductor or resistance wire that is what is called voltmeter which is always connected parallel to the circuit. This is what is meant by the Ohm's law circuit diagram. First is the primary circuit which includes battery, key, rheostat resistance wire and a meter. We are finding the resistance of this wire okay. by adjusting the resistance here. We are adjusting the resistance here and measuring the ammeter reading and voltmeter reading to check the given resistance is constant. In order to change the resistance, we are using this rheostat. At that time, the ammeter reading will change. According to the ammeter change, voltmeter also will change. Okay. Then we find the ammeter reading and voltmeter reading relationships. That is V by I. The reading that we get from voltmeter is the value of V and uh, that we get from a meter reading is I and both of them are calculated for various positions. And in each case when we find that relationship we will get the a constant value that indicates the Ohm's law is correct. So thus Ohm's law is verified. This is the circuit diagram used in your lab for doing the practicals. For more information, I will give you in, in my next class. If you like my video, please like it and share it. Also, please subscribe my video for getting the notification. Thank you for watching. See you next time.